Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I am visiting one of my favorite stores here in New York City, East Coast Trimming, home of Hyman Hendler & Sons. It's a treasure trove of ribbon. I don't know of any other place in New York City where we could go to find a piece of silk ribbon. It's like stepping back in time, a magical place where there's a bunch of things from a long time ago. That's what we're looking at today, ribbon. What do you, what, what do you need the bow for? Put it on top of a car? <laughs> for a photo shoot, son of a gun. <laughs> It, actually, if you want to come in here, you can find a lot of ribbon. You've got whatever you need. Should, should I send a taxi for you? <laughs> One of the things I love about living in New York City is that if you really look, you can find treasure that's stuff, and you can find treasure in people. And this is Michael Weissman, who is part of a very long legacy of selling ribbon right here in New York. Um, Michael, your wife's grandfather started selling ribbon in, was it 1900? Lower East Side. On a push cart? On a push cart. He sold whatever he could put on a push cart, whether it be ribbon. Yep. Hats. Yep. Uh, apples, maybe. Wow. Your father-in-law just sold ribbon. No fabric. Just no ribbon. fabric, just ribbon. Today you say ribbon and the only real thing that people can think of is going to a craft store and buying this hideous, horrible plastic acetate garbage. We call it crapola. Crapola. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> but there was a time when ribbon was a precious thing. There are poems and old folk songs from the 18th and 19th century describing the romantic aspect of pulling a ribbon from a woman's hair yeah. and or tying up someone's hair. Very often, ribbon was, was made out of silk and people would buy a piece of it and they would keep that ribbon and use it over and over and over again. It wasn't something that you just bought for a few pennies and then threw away. You look at those old pictures from the 1900 all the way up to 1950, yeah. and in New York City, no man was outdoors without wearing a hat. And, and around every the hat, hat had, had a piece of gray ribbon. ribbon. Exactly. Yeah. So just imagine if every man is wearing a hat in New York City, and every hat has a piece of grow grain ribbon, well, you carried grow grain ribbon, right? In every color imaginable. Not anymore. No, well, that's that's the hats. Are, the hats are gone. The hats are gone. Men wearing suits to work. That's it's gone. gone. That, Ladies wearing dresses to work. That, that's gone. gone. Some of the mills have gone by the wayside because people weren't buying enough. Mm -hmm. Most of the mills that we used were in France, mm -hmm. Switzerland. Germany. This is from France. Just look at this. I mean, this is the thrill of coming into this shop. Not only is the ribbon incredible and the feel of it on my hand, it feels substantial. This is not going anywhere in 50 years. It, it was made to last. Just coming in here and picking this ribbon up, it, it genuinely feels like going back in time. Yeah. It feels like shopping in another era. And the quality is still there. You can, you can feel it and it, it, there's no, no give to it. it it's, uh, I would say this is probably 35 years old. Wow. It's just endless. Like this, this right here, there's a little bit of velvet. Velvet and, velvet and satin. What I didn't understand is how, how, is this, how was this designed? And you told me that your, your father-in-law would sit at his kitchen table. And my mother-in-law used to yell at him. She used to say, get your crap off the, off the table. We have to eat dinner. What was he doing at the table? <laughs> Playing with little colors and putting them together. That's how we got colors like that. <clears throat> Sticking pieces of ribbon together? Yeah, and taping them. Yeah. And then putting it on a sheet of paper mm -hmm. and mailing it off to one of the mills. To, In Europe. To produce, yeah. So he's just sent that little yep. sample off and then they yep. would make the ribbon? Yep. But he would put most of the colors together himself. But this was his, his baby. He, he, he loved doing this. It's inspirational. It makes me want to make things. It makes me want to find uses for this. And, and to think that there was a time when there were genuinely many uses for all of this yeah. stuff. Is this the sort of thing you would take around to show people? Uh, maybe, maybe way back. But we had sample cards. Where, where's the sample card? This is for the sample. 
Was this was before the sample cards. This Don't is come close, Donna. You're liable to get in the shot. <laughs> Donna's scared of the camera, but we love her. I wish she would show herself. You're not, you're not gonna meet her, unfortunately. Well, you can meet her if you come to the shop. How old is this ribbon? This ribbon is probably 50, 60. What? In all these different widths and different colors, this is the sort of iconic, typical thing that would go around a hat. A solid colored grow grain Out ribbon. Out and in. And, and on the brim also. Oh, on the, right. Because there was a band on yeah. the inside, like as a sweatband almost, right? Yeah. And then. Oh, and, you had to have this for a sweatband. Because it absorb actually, it was, it's not plastic. It would have cotton. cotton, so it, it would absorb yes. moisture. And that's the thing about the ribbon made of natural fiber. There is a huge difference because it served a purpose. OK, I'm going to take these over here. Here's an old sample that, book velvet. of velvet ribbon yep. from Europe, patterned. Look at the look at the typeface. Even the even the sample books are beautiful. Yeah, Little flourish that, here. That's the velvet. This wow. Was, this was the grow grain. Look at this. So look at this. Ah, what? I think this was almost 300 colors. Every every shade you could yeah. possibly want. All in stock. All in stock. You had this in the shop. So I could come in here and buy a yard. Yeah, we cut this down to about 170 colors now that we do. So you still, so you still carry 170 colors. We still of this produce ribbon. it. Yeah. Wow. Is and where is that made, Michael? France. Still made in France? Yeah. Same mill. So. Yeah. I need some narrow purple ribbon, and I would love to get some old ribbon. So can we go over there and? See, How narrow are you looking for? A quarter of an inch. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is like, look, just look at the label. What? That's older than me and, me and you together. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. This is, so is this grow green? I, I would think it's probably a cotton. Okay, this is the, this is the winner so far. Look at this. That's older than me. Really? Yeah. Like, what's, what's sort of the oldest ribbon that we might find in here? Well, I'm 81, and you're looking at maybe, uh, could be over 100. Really? Some of them, yeah. But they had terrific artisans in those days working these mills. And if it had one loom, yep. that was a home. If it had two looms, it was a mill. Okay. Three looms was a big mill already. The ribbon was produced in these people's homes? Yeah. So there was a, there was a connection to individuals. Yeah. It wasn't just all produced in huge factories. It would take four to six months, maybe, to see anything from the samples that he sent. Wow. So it wasn't fast fashion? No. And then, th and then this is what happens. What was supposed to be a 15-minute task in between all the things that I was supposed to do today, two hours later, you're still looking at all the different... Your problem is you have good taste. That That's why you come to our shop. That's the problem. That is the problem. <laughs> Another cabinet full of treasure. What's in here, Michael? These are metallic ribbons and uh, tassels. Th there's metal in here? Yeah. This was done on, on uh, uniforms also, basically. That, that's where most of these uh, were used. Like military and navy uniforms? Yeah. Way, way, way back. Wow. How old do you think this is? 50. 50 years old. Yeah. A lot of this are used for uh, movie shoots okay. also. Costumes for Broadway. So B Broadway has been a big customer big, big, of yours. Big, big, yeah. The Met. The Met. Oh, the opera, right? Yeah. Those grand, all those grand yeah. costumes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. This is a picture of my aunt. Really? Well, my wife's aunt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Aunt Gert. Why is she on they, there? They ran the store in California. Okay. Yeah. And they put her on there. They, they <laughs> needed. They needed a logo. This was probably 1930s. Really? Yeah. So that probably dates the ribbon. That's funny, you should find that. <laughs> Aunt Gert, Aunt Gert. Aunt Gert <laughs> wanted to be shown. She was calling to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Michael. This has been a real pleasure and a real honor to walk around this wonderful well, shop thank you. with you. Thank you for wanting to be. <laughs> of course. But I think if most people knew about what was in here. Um, treasures, treasures. Real well, treasure. If, if, if you like it and, 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 and think that, that it's uh, you know, wonderful things, mm -hmm. how many other people do you think are in that same category? I do believe that there are a lot of young people out there who are artistic 
and they just don't know about this stuff, but they want to learn. It's a so different, different world. It's it is a different, different world. world. But I, I would like to have a hand in making things better and making things finer. Maybe taking it a little step back to the way it used to be, yeah. when people took pride in in what they produced. I mean, so much of what is in here is actual treasure yep. from a bygone era. And I just want to thank you on behalf of all of the viewers out there who are going to be very fascinated by your world for giving us your time today. And if you would like to come here and search, the doors are open. This is what we ask them at yeah. the end of every video. Yes. If you liked this video, we ask them to give us a thumbs up. And then I ask them, if they didn't like this video, guess what they do? Turn you off. No, they get Right. But before they turn you off, they give you a thumbs down. No, no, no. S they do. Tell Definitely. me who does that, I'll go after them. You better watch People out. People that don't know. You better watch out about giving me a thumbs down, because Michael's going to come get you. Correct. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao, ciao.